<laughs> the big dog's already rolling it in. I got your Murder Max combo yeah. right here. What do you think? Brad. Can you imagine that being on Murder Max? This is almost as tall as you. What size wheel is this? This is a 30 by 16 on a 44, 16, 50, 30 inch tire. It's a good Oh my gosh. When I had 44, the biggest room where I could get was 16 fives. Well, that was also 155 years ago. Yeah. Okay, anyway. You're wrong. <laughs> Hey, so this is Jason. He's going to be walking us through the full facility here. We've already started, so you guys can check out the whole process from start to finish. Well, let's go. Let's, let's go. Come on. <laughs> we are standing in part, a little, little part of American Force, and we are here to capture the whole process of my wheels being machined out of a solid chunk of aluminum. There's thousands of wheels surrounded. Oh, I think we're in like probably, I don't know, maybe 100,000 square foot of inventory before they even start machining the American Force wheel. What the hell's wrong with you? I'm excited, this is my, I get to smell all the smells of the machine, the solid billets. Hey, this is perfection at its finest. I don't know what you just said, but we're here, we're gonna film. It's art, that's what I said. It's art and structure and just American. All right, let's, let's just get right to the best parts. Okay. We're here at American Force. We are gonna get the wheels machined and we're gonna show you guys the whole process from polishing, powder coating, the wheels being machined from raw, the finishing, the shipping. There's just a lot. It's very loud from what we've been told. We're handed earplugs <laughs> and safeties. Well, let's go back there, kind of check it out. Again, we don't know what we're running our into right now, but I know it's going to be pretty cool. So let's go. We're in a nice place. Come on. Oh my gosh. Look at all these CNCs. These things, these are operating 24 7. So we just walked in the machining part of the uh, American Force. You can already see just in the background on how many different wheels are sitting on different racks. What do you find, Ed? So this is something I never had. Normal places you go in and they have a soda machine. So you take your money out and you get a soda, a bottle of water, whatever. These guys got a machine of tooling. So if you need a, if you need a bit, if you need a tap, if you need a mill, you go in here and it looks like you have a login number and it spits you it out. So instead of getting water, I mean, this machine right here, it's probably got a hundred grand worth of tools in it. Oh, look at them. Oh, you want? Oh, I need some earplugs. I need some safety glasses. Anything you want is in these machines. This is impressive. I love, I love how we're here for wheels and my dad just focused on the tool cabinet. Okay. If you're going to steal something, you break in here and you lift this up with the forklift and put it in your truck. <laughs> so we're going on the entire tour of the whole facility. We have powder coating. We're going to check out our wheels being machined. Uh, basically, every step of the way it takes to actually build a wheel here at the facility and ship it to the customer. Jason's going to go through and kind of explain a different, uh, just all the different steps. Where are we at for the first step? Um, so this is kind of our pre-production floor. So forging, we pull all of our forgings that are getting ready to be cut. Um, they come to this floor, they'll unbox them, they'll load them on a cart, um, they'll put the job ticket with them and then the design file. And then once the design file is ready to go, it'll roll onto the production floor to be cut. Um, once it's finished being cut, if it is a polished wheel, um, some of our polishing equipment is in here. Those wheels will come back to the other side of this floor and go into our polishing machine. We'll roll into the polishing department basically how it goes you know this is what it'll turn into from like a raw state of aluminum so like that wheel right here is raw you can see there's no polish whatsoever on it so we're going to look at the process that it actually takes to turn it into something like this if anybody's ever polished a set of wheels you know it's it's not easy to do i hate you it go with the grain you can leave marks in it so we actually have a few of these machines clamp the wheel in and you can see it's going right oh, now. it's all automated it'll all automatically polish it let's go check it out these just came out of the polishing machine and it's uh you, you can see these two huge machines see here's one and here's another one they they bring the wheel in from where ours are right now being machined out of a raw aluminum and they bring them here and the machine polishes it and gets it very very close they say uh, they still have to do a handful of things by hand. Like you can see, he's he's still polishing on that side. 
But it's just pretty cool to be able to see a wheel go from a raw state to this. It's amazing. And it be done automatically by a machine. So here's the sad thing. When I had my company, everything was hand done. Polishing is dangerous when you're doing it by hand. And unfortunately, I actually became a pretty good expert at fingers being picked up. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. I had one guy got caught up in a machine. I Not our fault. No one wants to hear that. All four. So no one wants to hear one. that. I know. <laughs> come, come look at me. I was sad. <laughs> so this is full automation. So this is the polishing process. So we showed you guys the pre-production. We uh, we haven't been over to our wheels to see the machining process. We kind of jumped straight to the polishing. Um, we're gonna go check out the wheels here in a minute, but it's pretty interesting on how they actually polish and how many steps it takes, the machine, the, the manpower. Like this is a pretty interesting step of the process. Where, where are we going next? Um, we'll go to paint next. But we are at the finishing. So this is the powder coating stage. But you have so many different types of finishes. You know, some people want, you know, machine marks with translucent. You got black finishes. I don't even know what this is. It's like a mirrored something. But people don't understand, there's someone back there taping this off so they can chew till that. I still don't understand how they're doing that. Holy cow. she's doing oh my gosh you have a lot of patience huh wow is that amazing i would have never guessed that that was done by hand ever that's crazy wow so i don't know if you guys actually understand what process that is that that lady's doing it is absolutely nuts. She, to get a two-tone like this, she literally is spraying one powder, say in this case, the cold. So she would spray that, any overspray on the face, she is wiping off by hand. So taking all the face off and then powder coating the face black. That process, I didn't know it was actually done like that. Well, and here's the thing I just said. I said, to do multiple colors, it's gotta be, Expensive? Oh, huh? that must take her two hours to do easy a, a couple wheels. Easy two hours. And I guess it's a minimum of three hundred dollars per wheel, depending on the wheel, for two tone. And you could do anything you want. The price goes up. So when you see a wheel that's got multiple color that's been powder coated, let's say it's two color, you're looking at another probably four hundred bucks minimum. And if you get three color. I mean, you could get seven, eight hundred dollars per wheel just to have a color that no one else has. Well, it, it makes sense. I mean, the ladies back there doing it by hand with her finger. I know. She's like, <laughs> we're in the powder coating portion of American Force, and you can see the assembly line. Now, this assembly line, what they just explained to me, is full automation. So, if you're doing like a black wheel, it would start painting and it gets loaded in it gets powder coated baked in the oven and it comes out completely done it's kind of cold in here so <laughs> the reason for that is this is a positive pressure when everything goes down if we drop powder it drops so it keeps the contamination as well as possible gotcha yeah there's just there's so many things that you know me not seeing this all the time it's, it's so interesting that, i mean even that i'm like damn why is it so cold <laughs> We're in the automated powder coating, and they're actually powder coating the wheel as we speak. So the wheels are going into the automated oven. It's about 380 degrees, and in 45 minutes, you can see these are slowly moving. The wheels will be coming out on these. Done. It's amazing. Can you hear that? <laughs> we are in the machine side. And we're gonna go check out the Bad Boy Murder Max wheels. This is a brand new wheel called the Deny. And oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. We're gonna see it go from a solid, so unmachined surface. It's gonna get fully machined, and we're gonna pull that wheel out of the machine right now, fully machined, ready to go, ready to get powder coated, and then it's going on Murder Max. So we're gonna go check it out for the first time. 
It's a little noisy, as you can hear in the background, but I absolutely love that. That's machines, machining billet. Let's go. We got this open so you guys can actually see, but it's pretty impressive. When this thing gets out of the machine, the whole front is going to have a beautiful design. It's going to look, it's going to look pretty awesome. They stopped the machine so we can look at it. Look at this. That is insanely gorgeous. Pure chunk of billet. Man, I just love, I picked this wheel because just the pure machine lines that it has, it looks so beautiful. It's art. This is art. Oh my gosh. Wow. But what Jason was just telling me is every wheel that has ever been made here um, has a laser etched number on the wheel so they can trace back to, you know, if, if say a truck gets sold, you know, 10, 15 times, they always know who originally bought that wheel, how they were made, if it's a custom, you know, offset, color, whatever it is. So it's pretty interesting. So normally I wouldn't buy a wheel that had anything under 3,400 pound load rating myself. All of their wheels are 3,600 pound and up. The only, and, thing, the only thing more than that is our 95 direct bolt dually. What's important about having a load rating on a wheel, and these are forks, so this is the strongest process you can have for a wheel. And what's important about that is when you're towing, I'm gonna do a lot of towing in the truck, and the reason why I went with the BFT tire I did was because of the load rating. So you match the tire with the wheel, and when you're towing, you know, 20, 30,000 pounds, you eliminate a potential failure. I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen, you know, vehicles broke on the side of the road because a wheel busted apart or something happened. Well, that's why it's important to go with a really nice wheel and a nice tire so you don't have a failure. The only problem here is the wheel has more load rating than the tire. I know. <laughs>cool thing about machining here you got this fully machined piece now this piece comes out of this look at this and here's the other cool thing those forged wheels same thing they it's a stick of aluminum like this it gets cut up into slugs heated up to like 900 degrees and then it's pressed into this huge like pancake and then they come back and start forming the wheel but a lot of people don't realize this right here is this yeah, it uh, it don't make sense. You know, that's what America is. It's, it's like how something created, and that's the whole point of this episode is to show you guys while we're learning is how things like this are created from things like that. My dad was just explaining. I was like, "What in the heck is this?" And he said he used to have one of these. So I'm gonna let him explain what this machine is. Yeah. So basically, what it does is goes through this line. It's about. I'm guessing probably 160 degrees at the minimum. And by the time it goes through your hair and out the backside, that sucker is perfect. Like, what do you mean perfect? Like, what it's is it? ready to do anything. Powder coating. So it, this is like a like a big cleaner. Yeah. Parts washer. Pretty a really, much. really nice parts washer. Oh, really expensive parts washer. But I, but I believe this one here, where they were saying too, recirculates all the water. So any of the sludge or dirt or any of the shavings will go down and go into like a, a little pit and then they reclaim all the water. Pretty wow. awesome process. It's crazy. You have all this automation and then now it's the quality control. So they're going through making sure everything is perfect. If there's a wheel that isn't, you know, up to spec, it gets set aside. If, if it keeps passing, they're wrapping all the lips and saran wrap. They put nice cases on it, doing all the finish polishing, and then it's kind of wrapping around. And then you can see on over here, these are these are getting ready to get boxed and shipped out to customers. So all these, uh, you know, the nice you know cloth for the protection, everything set on it. This is just this has been an awesome process. This is unbelievable. You know why there's a bunch of ladies in this station? Probably because they're detailed. Because they're detailed and they're picky and they won't let things go. All I know is I'm just, I can't wait to finally see our wheels after powder coat. We get them at the shop, start putting them on the truck. 
This has been awesome. Jason, thank Thanks, you so man. much yeah. for having us. Thanks for coming again. Man, yeah. I was thinking about Good getting my you. old truck back. <laughs> you guys, thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. I hope you enjoyed the process. I'm just so beyond stoked and blessed to be teaming up with American Ford. Rims One, thank you for the connection. This has been just a cool day. I can't wait. Next time we see the wheels, it's going to be on the truck.